So guys, coming back at you with another video. Hello guys. Bit Mel Jean's annoying me today because she's like, come on, come on, hungry. I'm starving. Hungry again. She's wor she's worse than the guy when she's hungry. <laughs> I've never seen anything like it in my life. <laughs> but anyway. Okay, wait, wait. Today what? it's gonna be eating out in Cebu all day. Breakfast, lunch, dinner, snacks. So we just have to actually head to the center today. So we're gonna start by having breakfast there. Mm. Normally mm. we'd grab something. <laughs> Normally we would grab something close to our place, but we go into the center and we'll start there for breakfast. And you'll see the cost of how much it is to eat out all day here in Cebu. The first thing we're spending today is the fare for the Jimmy ride, a peso for one ride. So 16 pesos for the two of us. Now we're heading to Melgin's favorite corandiria for very late breakfast. We woke up a bit. <laughs> it's already 11. Is it? Because someone is drunk last night. Yeah, we got a bit drunk last night. We were, we were invited to my friend's place for dinner and we ended up drinking a bottle of uh, Jim Bean bourbon. So. <laughs> It got a bit crazy, so I woke up a bit late today. But this is Melgin's favourite spot. No, I don't, I don't want to. Where's that one I like? So you have like all the soups as well? The price is like between 40, 80, 60, so it's all like good value for money here. Yeah. Just got breakfast, uh, baby Nick Nick. Oh. It cost 109 pesos for the two of us. We've got some pork. I don't know what sauce this is in, to be honest. This is like my favorite. Mel Jean cooked it the other day. I think she calls it Pinoc Bet or something. How you say this one? Pinoc Bet. Bet. We've got some, what's this called? Just some veggies. We've got the two rice. She's got a vegetable ball and some fish soup. All of this costs 109 pesos. We're starving, so time to eat. You believe Mel Jean is doing this to me right now, guys. This is my favorite, and I told her, oh, baby, eat some of mine. And she said, oh, what are you talking about? This is mine. She took the last one she knows I love. Never mind that. <laughs> what do you think, guys? That's a good breakfast for 109 pesos or what? Two dollars. The best. Best corandiria in Cebu. Baby Nick Nick. Oh, yeah, yeah. And like before everyone starts saying, the corandirias here, it's like where the local people eat. And like this one's pretty busy with all like the people that come for lunch, uh, they're working in like the hospital. And it's always packed here. The food is really good. Like I've eaten more expensive restaurants around Cebu and I can tell you the food is nowhere near as good. And I just sent Mel Jean in to get one piece of water. But no water because uh, it's brown out. It's black out so everyone see. <laughs> yeah, this is another one, tomato, tomato, black out, brown out. But we're actually sitting outside. There are people sitting inside the restaurant but as she said it's brown out so so people are sitting inside the restaurant in darkness but we're outside in the street so remember that chicken spot we ate at the other day Tagala look that's the cue for it so you gotta know it's good chicken when the people, the local people are queuing for it. So we've got a change of plan now, we're going to SM Cebu. So we have to take another two Jimny rides, eight peso a ride, so two rides, 16 peso. Yeah. We're gonna have lunch in there? No. <laughs> no, I don't think so. We're not really hungry, we have quite a lot for breakfast, so we'll see. So guys, because I write the Jeepneys every day, I know the sign there. Only in Jeepney language though. Yeah. Holy hog! Yeah. Four days over. Right, so we had a change of plan. We're only taking one Jeepney ride. We stopped in Ayala. 
just gonna look for some stuff. Explain what's going on in here. Oh my god, you guys, because of the virus, because of coronavirus that's going on right now, we have to queue and they're gonna put something on our hand to test if we have fever or something. I thought you were going to start. I thought Mal had coronavirus for a minute. I'm, I'm fine. Mal Jean, what have you been eating? She nearly, she nearly got rejected. So we couldn't find what we needed in Ayala, so we hopped on another jeepney and we've come to SM Cebu now. So hopefully we find what we want here. But they're not testing here. I was wrong. They were testing in the SMC view as well. I think they're testing in all malls now in the Philippines. We, we're trying to buy some sunglasses and Mel Jean's being so cheesy and she wants me to go to ah, twinning. <laughs> Mel, Mel Jean wants me to go twinning with her. Look. No. I don't really like wear sunglasses. So now we're just stopping off for lunch. We come back from SM Cebu, so we had to take two gym rides back from there to Fuente. And so that's a peso a ride, so 16 peso. And now we just stop for lunch in Punko Punko. I've got two pieces of the intestine. I'm gonna eat probably two or three rice, the sauce. You can eat any of that as well, really. So I'll let you know how much it is at the end. We've got one mountain dew as well. I'm gonna eat a sausage as well. Hungry much? Just a bit. What more rice? Sorry, sir. Four rice. I'll eat one more rice. Four rice for me. I ate two rice. We just finished in Punko Punko. We had two intestine, one sausage. I ate four rice. Mel Jean, what did you eat? Say. I got one pork chop and two rice. That's it. And that cost, oh, and one bottle of Mountain Dew. We shared one bottle of Mountain Dew because it's quite a big bottle. And that cost 126 peso for the two of us. Now we're just gonna head back home. We have to ride one jeepney back to our place and then we'll be heading out somewhere later for dinner. We might get a snack on along the way. Banana cube. Yeah. <laughs> so now we're just stopping off for our favorite snack, banana cube. Wow. My favorite banana cube. Oi! Nearly fell. Pick up one. Pick up one. Juicy. One of these is 10 pesos. 10 pesos. Where's mine? We only got one. That's yours. That's mine. Because <laughs> we're showing you how cheap you can really do it. Plus I'm pretty full because we've only just finished eating in Punko and I ate loads. Go on Mel Jean. We're gonna have the banana queue. That's for me, that's for him. 10 pesos. 10 pesos. Every day normally when I come back from training I actually grab two. Hey, give me a bite. Where are no, you going honey. with that? Look, no, she's running off with my banana queue. It's Slow so down. Hot. 10 peso for that snack and then very good singing in Philippines <laughs> this is my neighborhood guys the people love to sing here good evening guys we're pretty tired <laughs> but we have to go out to get food actually today I actually feel like staying in and eating because I didn't really feel like to walk here but we have to do it we want to get barbecue tonight. Yeah. So we're heading to one of the good barbecue places here in Cebu. Cool. Cool.
called? Well, we think it's called Tony G's, but actually they have a different sign inside saying it's <laughs> something else. So we don't know, but for now we're just going to call it Tony G's Barbecue. So we'll go there, you'll see what it's like and how much it costs. Let's go. Oh, busy. So this is the one, Tony G's Food Court. Or this. Do you think it could be called this? Ned. They have puso. Yeah, I told you that the last time. I'm, I'm normally taking this chicken, babe. So basically, you just grab a plate, put on whatever meat you want. We're just gonna have chicken and rice today because we're not too hungry because I've actually ate too much. Okay. Yeah. So basically this is what Tony G's restaurant looks like. They actually have a menu here as well that you can order from. The food is very good here. So they have a rooftop section where you can eat also, which is a better spot to eat. We normally go there. <laughs> but we're actually just eating downstairs tonight. I'm starving. Mal Jim is already sleeping. Yeah, I don't know, I got tired because so much drunk last night. Oh yeah, we were drinking Jim Bean last night. If I didn't mention that before, maybe I did. You did, you did. I have a bad memory. So this is the restaurant. We get cake for dessert? No, we're gonna go we're gonna go buy some chocolate cookies and bread. I didn't like that cookie. We have the drink cake here. Okay, we can get Mel Jean's buying cake for dessert, guys. So, we got two rice, water, some like lime drink, the two pieces of chicken, and it comes with this, and you put the soy sauce in this, like we got some chili, cucumber, it gives it a bit of spiciness. Look at that happy face. We've had, we have had way too much today. Well, I have anyway. <laughs> so that's Tony G's. I'll let you know the price after. It's normally around 200 pesos, I think. I'm not 100% sure, so I'll get back to you with the price when I demolish this food. Right, guys, so I'm telling you, this barbecue chicken, it's like definitely up there with the best in Cebu. I've eaten in Larshan and to be honest this place and Mama Susan's in my opinion is better than Larshan so definitely try and check it out. Tony G's barbecue. Me and Mel Jean we actually do come here a good bit because we really like love the chicken here and it's always packed with like the local people. Like we wanted to sit on the rooftop today but all tables are taken and like downstairs here is pretty busy too because they have two kitchens they have one for like cooking the barbecue and the other kitchen for the menu so definitely check out Tony G's and it's pretty inexpensive too so as you can see here maybe you cannot see the bill is 205 so per person 150 not bad there you go, Mel Jean, you can pay, darling. <laughs> After that barbecue dinner, we just normally come and grab like some cookies or crinkles or something like that. And Mel Jean needs to buy bread for tomorrow because we have to wake up at like 5 a.m. to go to Carbon. So like just come to one of the bake bakery shops here. Got some chocolate cake, chocolate crinkles. Only one. Only one. Only, only one. I'll get three then. We get one and a half. I only want one, so why are you going to get three? You want two? No. One. Yes, one. And chocolate crinkle, please. So, this is basically what they sell. This is just a small bakery shop. And they normally have these coffee machines as well. Five pays off. I'm actually gonna grab one of these because I just feel like drinking like a caramel 
coffee or hot chocolate. I might have choco. Always click. I got one for free before. I'll, I'll try a choco. We'll see what it's like. Only five peso for a cup. So it's a nice breakfast as well. You can get like coffee and a cake for like 10 peso basically. Did you get me a crinkle? Malgin got my crinkle. It only costs five it's peso. Coffee. It's hot chocolate. So I got a hot chocolate and a chocolate crinkle for 10 peso. So we're just walking back to our place now. I'm drinking the hot chocolate. It's so dark. Yeah, it's very dark in our little neighbourhood. So basically, like I was saying before, you saw how much like it costs to do the shopping and that. And I said I'd just like eat out all day here in Cebu, snacks. We had breakfast, lunch, dinner, and I'll put the total, I'll put whatever the total was, and you guys like can decide what's better for you. Like which one would you prefer to do? Would you go shopping? and cook for yourself or would you just go out and eat out every day because for me eating out is probably like better it's just less hassle you don't have to cook it's pretty inexpensive to eat out if you just stick to the local spots obviously if you're gonna go to more well-known like posh restaurants around IT park it's gonna cost you more for sure for sure but in general if you know the right barbecue places and the right corandir is, it's better than those posh restaurants, trust me. Malgin, what are you saying? Nick Nicks and corandirias like this? Yeah. They're way better than those, like, you go, you go into a, for example, we was in a restaurant and we had chicken adobo and it cost like 200 and something peso. And you go to Nick Nicks and the chicken adobo is how much? 50 peso. 50 peso. And it is a hundred times better in Nick Mix, and that is facts. A hundred times better. A hundred times better. <laughs> but yeah, just comment below which one you'd prefer to do. Would you go shopping and get your own, or would you just eat out every day? Until next time, goodbye. Bye.